I don't want to take birth control pills. They contain hormones. Did you know that birth control pills could be non-hormonal and non-steroidal too? Birth control pills are a popular choice of contraception all over the world and they have actually revolutionized contraception and given the control of reproduction in women's hands. The regular contraceptive pills contain a combination of hormones, estrogen and progesterone or just progesterone. We did two videos on birth control pills, so if you have not watched them already, please do watch them. These pills are by and large very safe provided they are taken under the doctor's prescription and supervision. But some women may not be just suitable for hormonal birth control pills for some medical reasons or simply don't want to use a hormonal pill. So hello everyone, this is Dr. Anjali Kumar. I bring greetings to you from Maitri. Maitri is a space where we talk anything and everything about women's health. So today we will talk about a birth control pill which does not contain any hormones or steroids. It has minimum side effects and prevents you from the serious side effects which may be caused by a hormonal contraceptive. It has a simple bi-weekly or a weekly dose. Yes, you heard it right. They have to be taken only once a week. It is available under the brand name Saheli and Choice 7 and since 2018, it is provided free of cost to the women in India by government under the brand name Chaya. What is it? It contains a medicine called or meloxifene or popularly known as scent cumin. Medically, it belongs to a class of drugs which are called CIRMs, Selective Estrogen Receptor Modulators. Now, this is a little technical, don't worry about it. These act on the estrogen receptors selectively. This drug is also used by us as gynecologists to treat many bleeding problems in women. How does it work? It prevents the implantation of pregnancy in the uterus. How effective it is? Very effective. It has a failure rate of only about 1-2% to with ideal use, which is only slightly lesser effective than the combined oral contraceptive pills. So how to use them? For contraception, the dose is 2 tablets a week for the first 12 weeks and then one tablet a week to be continued. So the first pill is to be taken on the first day of the menstrual cycle, the day the bleeding starts or any other day provided the pregnancy has been ruled out completely. After that, take one pill twice a week for first three months. For example, on Sunday and Wednesday, or Monday and Thursday, or a Tuesday and Friday. Starting from fourth month, the pill is to be taken once a week on the first pill day, which means if you started the pill on a Sunday, you continue taking the pill on a Sunday every week, regardless of your menstrual cycle. It is also advisable to use a barrier method of contraception like a condom in addition to taking this pill for the period of first 8 weeks of use, which is first 2 months. What if I miss my pill? Take the missed pill as soon as you remember. If the pill is missed by 1 or more days but less than 7 days, now follow the regular schedule and use an alternate method like condoms till you get the next period. But if you miss the pill by more than 7 days, now you need to restart the schedule like a new user. What if I miss my period on this pill? So one of the side effects of this pill is delayed and lighter periods, which is quite normal. This is not harmful and can actually be helpful for anemic women as she loses a lesser amount of blood during periods. However, if the periods are delayed by more than 15 days, do a pregnancy test and visit a doctor. 
what if I become pregnant while on this pill? Will my fetus be harmed? In case you conceive even after taking Sentcomen, which is Saheli or uh, Chaya, there is nothing to worry about. This medicine does not cause abnormalities in the fetus and the baby has normal growth and development. However, stop taking this medicine as soon as you get to know about your pregnancy and visit your doctor. Does it cause vaginal discharge, spotting, breakthrough bleeding or menorrhagia, which is heavy periods? No, scent chromon usually does not cause vaginal discharge, spotting, breakthrough bleeding or heavy periods. So what are the benefits of this non-hormonal pill? So it is a once a week pill only. So it is easy to remember and easy to adhere to this schedule. It is safe and very effective. It is a reversible method of contraception, which means the fertility returns soon after stopping the pills. It is safe for breastfeeding women, even immediately after childbirth. It has got lesser side effects like nausea, vomiting, headache, bloating, water retention, weight gain, which are seen by combined estrogen containing pills. It can be used in women who smoke also. So in women who smoke, usually we don't like giving combined estrogen progesterone pills. It can be taken by women in higher age groups also. It is safe for women with history of DVT, which is deep vein thrombosis, where we don't like to use estrogen containing pills. This is also used for treatment of many menstrual disorders like DUB. So DUB stands for dysfunctional uterine bleeding. So are there any side effects of taking this non-hormonal pill? Number one, delayed period. So scent chromon causes delayed periods in few women, but this occurs in about 8% users only and usually in first three months only. The periods tend to settle down to a rhythm once the body gets used to this drug. Second, scanty periods. Periods can get scanty over time in some women who are taking this non-hormonal pill. This is not harmful and no action is required. Where is it available? It is available as the name Saheli and in government hospitals as Chaya for free of cost. If you need to buy from the medical shop, you can ask for all meloxifene. Please consult your gynecologist before starting any contraceptive and get to know how it works nicely. So there is nothing called as the best or a perfect contraception. We doctors prescribe a particular method based on your medical history and your requirements. So if you have been thinking of going on a pill but had some reservations on this, do talk to your doctor about this non-hormonal pill. And once again, today, if you found this information useful, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and I will see you soon.